Mary Meet. Welcome to this short video on the making of a large bed monochord. This instrument started out as scrap cedar from an old dock that was being replaced. After being cleaned and planed, the planks were glued together. This formed the bottom resonator panel and the thicker top panel that someone would eventually lie on. It took many hours of cutting, gluing, and sanding to get the panels just right. The peg and pin blocks were constructed from oak. They were made extra thick to be sure they would take the stress and tension of the strings. After the blocks were laid out and drilled, work began on scalloping the underside of the top panel. This was done to reinforce the panel and ensure that it would take the weight of a large person laying on it. When done, the poplar sides and blocks were glued in place. This was followed by the thin resonator panel, which was also glued in place. The legs were constructed not to be permanent, as I plan on making new steam bent legs in the future. At this point, the instrument was transported to my apartment from the shop to be finished. This included priming, painting, and sanding to give it a weathered look. While it wasn't the finish I was hoping for, it has worked out nicely nonetheless. In the future, I would forego paint and, and instead opt for quality stain. The pegs for the string ends were made from brass rod, cut to length and milled to have a groove in them. In hindsight, it would have been less expensive to buy them pre-made and much less time-consuming. Stringing an instrument for the first time is always exciting. It took several hours to get this one strung, and tuning it is a real challenge. Here is the instrument as it is now. It still needs a protective coat of two-part epoxy table resin on its top to prevent scratches and damage to the art that was laminated onto it. The monochord has been designed to pivot on a set of central bolts. This allows it to be tuned without strain to the back and arms. It also functions as a stand to prop the instrument up at any desired angle. This is of great benefit when playing for groups and to avoid strain when playing for periods longer than one hour at a time. Thank you for watching and please enjoy this short audio clip of the monochord in action.